sooner, everybody. It's time to do the next version, the next week of picks, who I think is going to win this week in college football. Now, one of these games we're going to do a little bit differently starting this week. I'll explain it all, plus all the winners and losers, in my opinion, in college football for the next week. Stay tuned. Don't go away. Welcome back to the show, everybody. My name is Harry James. What we're going to start doing this week is a little different when it comes to the OU game. You guys know I have a lot of passion for my Sooners. I do. I love them with all my heart. So what we're going to do is basically we're going to do what Corso and, and, and Lee do at Corso, uh, uh, Kirk Herb Street does for the game that he calls. We're going to tell you what it's going to take for Oklahoma in this week's case, Oklahoma and then TCU to win the ball game. We're not necessarily going to pick the game because if they pick the game, then I, I could be considered a homer, and and I don't, you know, I don't want that to be uh, to be a part of it. So that's just going to have to do. Y'all are just going to have to deal with it at that point. But as far as the rest of the Big Twelve, we'll pick those games. We'll pick all the rest of the games on TV. Speaking of those Big Twelve games, let's get right down to it. And they will get right down to it because there's a Thursday nighter this week on Fox Sports One at seven o'clock. You'll see the University of Kansas Jayhawks. They'll travel. They'll travel to Lubbock, Texas, for this one. I'm going to take Texas Tech in this ball game. Uh, I don't think there's much more that needs to be said on that. Uh, the 11 a.m. games. On uh, Fox Sports 1 and on ABC, there's two of these. The Fox Sports 1 version is Baylor, as they'll be at Iowa State. I'm actually going to take Baylor in this ball game, And then uh, Kansas and then uh, Texas tries to rebound after their first loss as uh, Oklahoma in Stillwater against Oklahoma State, who tries to uh, rebound off their first conference loss. I'm going to go with Oklahoma State in this ballgame on ABC. 230, the 230 game, Kansas State will be at West Virginia on ESPNU. I'm going to go with Morgantown in this ballgame, West Virginia. Uh, they're coming off a big win over BYU, and um, that's what I think is going to happen on that. There's one final game on the weekend, 4 o'clock on Fox, National Fox, Oklahoma will be in Fort Worth against TCU. Uh, what's it going to take for Oklahoma to win this ball game? I think it's going to take, for Oklahoma, it's going to take um, a lot of hard work. You're going to have to run the ball. And um, just know that you know you, you can do this. Uh, play with a little bit of confidence. You played Houston and you played uh, Ohio State. And you moved the ball pretty consistently against Ohio State. It's just that you couldn't stop them. But offensively, you're good to go. Uh, defensively, for Oklahoma, just play smart football. Um, their A&M transfer, uh, Kenny, Thr Kenny Hill, has been known to be a bit sporadic. So, um, so get in his face a little bit. Hopefully, you can force a couple of turnovers. Oklahoma hasn't caused any turnovers. So now they've... Uh, Recovered a couple of fumbles in that scenario and forced a couple of them, but they haven't officially forced and recovered or intercepted anything uh, this past week, uh, these past few weeks in college football. On the other note, TCU, offensively, you move, again, you move the ball. Um, it, it, it's, it's, it's a team effort. It's a team game. Uh, you cannot, though, let Oklahoma get too far ahead. So you have to let Hill be Hill, play play some offense with him, do it that way. Defensively for TCU, uh, just do what you've been doing. Um, uh, uh, defensively, um, and just know that eventually you're gonna have to get stops and 
they've done and get some turnovers and stop the run. If you get those, if you do those things, Oklahoma should win. Or, or uh, for uh, in that case, TCU should win. In the previous scenario, OU should win uh, in that matchup. Uh, the, uh, there is another Thursday game on ESPN. Uh, Houston. Uh, they have a home game against the University of Connecticut. That's the last team to beat them. UConn will be in Houston at Houston on ESPN. I'm going to go with Houston. Uh, 8 o'clock. Uh, Stanford, Stanford is at Washington on Friday night on ESPN at 8 o'clock. I'm going to go with Washington in this ball game. And finally, uh, at 9.15, BYU tries to lick their wounds after a tough loss to uh, West Virginia as they're going to host Toledo. Toledo will be at BYU. I'm going to go with the Mormons in this ballgame of Brigham Young. Uh, to get a good night to sleep, because on Saturday there's a full docket as always. The uh, ABC ESPN or ESPN2 game. That in the ACC is Miami at Virginia Tech. So the ESPN2 ESPN game is Miami at Virginia Tech. I'm going to go with Miami. Uh, ESPN3 will have Appalachian State as they will host Georgia State. Georgia State at App State. I'm going to go App State. ESPN News. SMU tries to bounce back at Temple on ESPN News. I'm going to go with Temple. The uh, Big Ten Network. Ohio State continues their run as they host Rutgers on the Big Ten Network. I'm going to go with with Ohio State. ESPNU Northwestern will try to rebound after losing to Nebraska as they will head to Iowa City to face the University of Iowa on ESPNU. Give me the Hawkeyes. Uh, Central Florida will be at East Carolina on CBS Sports Network. I'm going to go with East Carolina. Notre Dame tries to bounce back after losing a, losing a heartbreaker to Duke. They'll be at Syracuse on ESPN2. I'm going to go with Notre Dame. Uh, Al, Alcorn State will be at Arkansas on the SEC Network. Arkansas trying to bounce back after getting just hammered by Texas A&M. Um, I'm going to go with Arkansas. And uh, Florida at, uh, trying to rebound after getting uh, trounced by Tennessee there. After giving up a 21-point lead, they'll try to do that at Vandy, Vanderbilt on the SEC Network. I'm going to take Florida Gators. 11 a.m. 11.30 a.m., sorry. Duke tries to continue the momentum after winning at North at Notre Dame as they will head to Virginia on the ACC Network. I'm going to go with uh, Duke. Also on the ACC Network, but this one's going to be at 12 o'clock. Buffalo will be at B.C., I'm going to go with Boston College on the ACC Network. 1.30 p.m. Ohio will be at Miami of Ohio on uh, ESPN3. I'm going to go with uh, Ohio. 2 o'clock will stay in the uh, MAC as uh, East Eastern Michigan will be at Bowling Green on ESPN3. I'm actually going to go with Bowling Green in this ball game. 2.30 p.m. So... Uh, the mid games look like this. These are the mid games. Uh, Northern Illinois, you and I, will be at Ball State on ESPN3. I'm going to go with Ball State. Akron will be at Kent State. I'm going to go with Akron. University of Louisiana, Monroe, will try to uh, try to knock off Auburn, who LSU couldn't do. Auburn trying to sustain some momentum. They'll do that on ESPN, uh, on the uh, e SEC Network. I'm going to take Auburn. On the Arm Sports Network, Tulane will be at the University of Massachusetts. I'm going to go with UMass. Uh, Tennessee will try to keep winning against Georgia on the SCBS. I'm actually going to go with Georgia in this ballgame. I know a lot of people are going with Tennessee after their big win, but I think Georgia can get this done. Uh, Navy will be at Air Force on the C uh, CBS Sports Network. I'm going to go with the Air Force, uh, North Carolina will be at Florida State on uh, ABC, ESPN, or ESPN2. I'm actually going to go with Florida State in this ballgame. 
Uh, I know that North Carolina kind of pushed them around in that title game, but it's in it's it's in a Florida State, and Florida State's going to be kind of hungry by the way that they played against Louisville. So watch out for that one. Uh, so staying in the ACC on ESPN3, you'll be able to see Wake Forest at NC State on the ESPN3. I'm going to go with North Carolina State. Uh, traveling to the Big Ten, Purdue will be at Maryland on the Big Ten Network. I'm going to go with Maryland. Uh, the uh, Big Ten game will be Wisconsin at Michigan on ABC, ESPN, or ESPN2. I'm going to go with Michigan. Pac-12 will be Illinois at Nebraska on ABC, ESPN, or ESPN2. I'm actually going to go with Nebraska. That will give them a, a 2-0 cushion in the division. Um, 3 p.m., on the uh, Roots Sports Network. That one's kind of new. It will be San Jose State at New Mexico. I'm going to go with New Mexico. And on the SEC Network, Texas A&M, the Aggies, will hit the road, Jack, against South Carolina. I'm actually going to take A&M in this ball game. 4 p.m., Troy will be at Idaho on ESPN3.com. I'm going to take Idaho. 6 p.m., uh, Florida Atlantic, FAU, will be at Florida International, FIU, on the BN Sports Network. I'm going to go with International. Uh, University of Texas, El Paso, will be at Louisiana Tech on the Arm Sports Network. I'm going to go with La Tech. Uh, Western Michigan will be at Central Michigan on CBS Sports Network. I'm going to go with Central Michigan. ESPN3 will have Memphis at Ole Miss. I'm going to take Ole Miss in this ballgame. Auburn will be at Kentucky, Alabama, I'm sorry, Alabama will be at Kentucky on uh, ESPN. Actually going to go with Alabama in this ballgame, shocker. Uh, South Florida will be at Cincinnati on ESPN2 or ESPNU. I'm taking uh, South Florida. Middle Tennessee State will be at North Texas in the uh, Campus Insider TV network. I'm going to go with Middle Tennessee State. Uh, Rice will be at Southern Mississippi on the CBS uh on ESPN3, I'm going to go with Miss Southern Miss. And also, Houston Baptist will be at Western Kentucky on ESPN3. I'm actually going to go with Western Kentucky in this ball game. 6.30 p.m., you'll see Incarnate Word as they'll be at Texas State on ESPN3. I'm going to go with Texas State. LSE will try to bounce back as they will have a home game and a night game feeling as Missouri will come in and be at LSU on the SEC Network. I'm going to take LSU in this ball game, And Marshall will be at Pitt on ESPN3. I'm taking Pittsburgh. The late tips, the late kickoffs. So you got your morning, afternoon, and then your desserts. Your late night kicks at 7 p.m. Arizona will be at UCLA on Fox. I'm going to take UCLA. San Diego State will be at South Alabama. On ESPN News, I'm going to take uh, San Diego State. Louisiana Lafayette will be at New Mexico State. I'm going to go with New Mexico State on ESPN3. ABC will have Louisville at Clemson. I'm going to go with Louisville. And uh, on the Big Ten Network, Michigan State will be at Indiana on the Big Ten Network. I'm actually going to go with Michigan State in this ball game. 8.30 p.m., we have a Pac-12 game for you. Arizona State will be at USC on the Pac-12 network. I'm actually going to go with Arizona State in this ball game. They can, they might be able to outscore SC. You never know. Uh, 9:15, you got two games. Uh, Utah State will be at Boise State, ESPN two. I'm going to take Boise State. Wyoming will be at Colorado State on ESPN U. I'm actually going to take Colorado State. And two games at 9:30 for the really late kicks out west, and they include Oregon, as they will be at uh, Washington State on ESPN. I'm going to go with Oregon. And Fresno State at UNLV on uh, CBS Sports Network. I'm actually going to go with Las Vegas in this ball game. Speaking of Vegas, guys, don't take any of these picks to Vegas. I'm not promising you good things if your team win or loses. I just care about the games, baby. W's is all that matters. All right, guys, I hope you enjoy your uh, next weekend in college football. See you all a week from now. And until then, guys, I'm out of here.
Enjoy your college football, guys. See ya.